Hi everyone, welcome to CD Cave, I'm Jack Barrio. I'm back today with another video, um, a CD hauls. I have uh, one from Amazon, two from eBay, and then a few from uh, thrift stores uh, from the past week. Uh, two of them are not open. Uh, one I opened yesterday, um, out of the package, I haven't listened to it yet. Uh, so I'll be going through those. Uh, forget if you're new to my channel, uh, Please hit that subscribe button, like, leave a comment down below, enjoy reading the comments and stuff like that. Well, the good ones anyways. I do get the odd bad one, but... Uh... So to get going today, the first one I'll do is I'll do uh, the two that are not open. And I'll do the Amazon one first. I probably don't need a knife for it, but... Um, I'm sure I know this, this one what it is. It came in... Uh, I guess I think it was. It is. Yeah, I've been getting into a lot of um, John Payne lately. Uh, not familiar with him. Uh, he replaced John Wetton in Asia, um, and um, so I've been listening to a lot of uh, Asia and uh, band that he was in afterwards called GPS. And this is his new project. This is the second album. And it's called uh, Dukes of the Orient, Freak Show. And uh, if you like Asia, and uh, with um, actually, you put a, he's got a saxophone player on this album, which he doesn't on his first album. His first, the first uh, uh, Dukes of the Orange sounds more like uh, Asia. Uh, this one here uh, is a bit more of a different uh, feel to it. It does have some Asia elements to it, but um, he added a saxophone player. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like. Uh, saxophone but uh, I do I really enjoy the music so it gives it a, a bit of that super trap flair a little bit some of the songs but uh, there's some good songs on here uh, the Duke's Return is a really good song uh, Freak Show is the heaviest song on here uh, The Monitors is another cool song uh, The Last Time Traveler is really good um, The Great uh, Bass Stream Engine which is instrumental but it's a really good instrumental song and yeah, overall a really good album from 2020. Yeah, so I'm glad to to get this. Been streaming this one for a while. And um, of course go on Amazon, right? The CD is cracked, of course. That's no surprise there. And the next one we'll do is from eBay. This one here, I'm not sure what it is. Like I said before, I order some stuff and sometimes some of the stuff takes two, three weeks to come in. And, other stuff comes in before other stuff that I order, so I'm not always sure what it is. So we'll find out together. Let me know too if you um, if you like to see me open some of the packages uh, live, or if you just rather me show you the CDs. It's, to me, it doesn't matter either way. Not a big deal to me. Ah, yeah, this is one I've been hard to get, and I finally uh, found it. Kind of a, an obscure album by Journey, uh, Red 13, which is um, really an EP. This is with uh, Steve uh, Aguera on it. That's the way he really pronounces his name. There's a couple of different pronunciations, but uh, it's a good song. Uh, Say the Grace is good, the time walking away from the edge, and I can't breathe. Like I say, it's a short album. Uh, it's an EP, they call it, but um, this is a, good songs on here. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy to have this. This is the reissue. It's got the nice cover. The original one just said uh, Red 13 on it, if I believe. So this one here has got kind of like their, uh, their logo type thing. So another one I'm pretty happy to have. And another one I got from, uh, was Amazon, uh, but I opened it the other day. Uh, it was ready and willing, one of the white snakes I was missing. Um, so I'll be listening to this later today. Um, I haven't opened the seal yet, but uh, I'll be throwing this on. This is one of the early ones and it's a, it's a really good one. There's some good songs on here. I'm glad to have that. 
Uh, the rest of the ones that I have are from a uh, local thrift store. And uh, I had some pretty good finds, actually. Um, they had a lot of new stuff, but stuff I have or stuff I, I didn't really want. And um, so I was happy uh, to find some of the stuff I did. I found uh, Emerson Lake and Palmer Works Volume 1. Which is a 2 CD. I hear uh, mixed reviews on this. I hear uh, mixed reviews on this, but um, I've always liked this album. I find there's some good songs on it. It's definitely not their best. It's not as good as, say, Trilogy or something, but still, it's still a good album. And um, Yeah, it's got uh, these sort of songs are hard to pronounce on here, but uh, it's got uh, Lend Your Love to Me Tonight. Of course, Ciel La Vie was a Big popular song, uh, Hallowed Be Thy Name, Closer to Believing, yeah. L.A. Nights, New Orleans, Pirates, Tank, from 1977. And this is the 2001 reissue. So I'm really happy to find this. I'm Snake and Palmer works. And another one that was a really good find is uh, Private Eyes by Tommy Bolin. Great guitar player. Died way too too early. I think he was in his mid twenties. I think when he died, which is really unfortunate. Um, this is not something you see out there very often. Uh, Busting out for Rosie is really good. Sweet Burgundy, uh, Shake the Devil, Gypsy Soul, Hello Again. Uh, you told me that you love me. From nineteen seventy six, CBS Records. Yeah, I'm really happy to find this. Actually, I listened to this a couple of days ago. And I really good Tommy Bolin, Private Eyes. Next, another great find, All Things Must Pass to George Harrison. This is the the two CD um, version. So I'm not even sure you could find the original version anymore. It might even be out of print. I'm not sure. But I was happy to find this. Uh, I'd have you anytime, my sweet lord. Uh, isn't it a pity? Log door, let it down. Run of the mill. And it's got some bonus tracks on that CD too. Uh, Lay it down, I live for you. Uh, then CD two has got Beware of Darkness, Apple Scruffs. Uh, of course, a title track, Art of Dying, Hear Me Lord. And it's also got some bonus tracks on the second CD too. Thanks for the pepperoni, Hour of the Blue. I remember Jeep. This from 2001 reissue. So, yeah, pretty happy to find this. I didn't, uh, I don't have a lot of George Harrison. I have, uh, what I have? I have Cloud Nine and I have Brainwashed by George Harrison. That's uh, what I have most of is, uh, of course, Paul McCartney. I have a lot of Paul McCartney albums uh, being my favorite Beatle, but i um, really happy to find this great edition. And the last one I'll be showing today in the CD hall is actually one I picked up for my wife. Although I do enjoy her too. I love her music, um, which is uh, Diana Krall, Wildflower. <clears throat> I do uh, like her music. I think this might have been the only one I was missing out of her albums. I picked up all her stuff over the past few years, I think. Uh, Except for maybe the Chris, Christmas one, which I have seen around, but um, I never bother picking up. But uh, California Dreaming, Desperado, Superstar, most of these, a lot of these are covers. Well, she does do a lot of covers in her music, but uh, yeah, this has got a couple uh, duets. It's got one uh, with Brian Adams and uh, one with uh, Blake Mills, Michael Buble, which is an artist I do like, Michael Buble, I do like that. That type of music. I'm a big Frank Sinatra fan. So, uh, yeah, so I was pretty happy to find out. This one's mostly for my wife. So that's it for this CD haul. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves.